Today I'm reviewing and testing the Basla B1 LED headlight. Does this little teeny tiny headlight pack more power than you think? Well, we're going to find out. Hello everybody and welcome to Car Light Reviews. If you've never been here before, I perform consistent automotive light tests to help you make the best purchase decision for your needs. Today, we're looking at the Basla B1. I tested this one a couple years ago on my other channel when I did a 15-way LED light shootout, and I was impressed with the quality and light output of this one despite the small size and the reasonable cost. Now, my testing methods were pretty basic back then, and I've evolved them quite a bit, so now I thought it'd be cool to revisit this one and see how it performs under the new testing methods. Let's start with an unboxing. It does come boxed pretty nicely if you're into that sort of thing. Comes with some stickers, which is kind of cool. They look like they might be reflective. I'd have to test that. Comes with a very thorough manual, but this is plug and play, so you probably don't need them. You simply remove the factory bulb and replace it with this one. Your vehicle's owner manual should tell you everything you need to know. The published specifications of the Basla B1, 30 watts each and 3600 lumens of output each, 6500K color temperature, it has a flip chip, an IP rating of 67, an hour rating of 30,000, and a one-year warranty. Current price at the time of this video without discounts or coupons is $49.99. It does have a friction fit adjustable collar, and it is fan cooled. And it does have an internal driver, so this is kind of an all-in-one unit. And it does have a polarity-sensitive plug. I want to talk a little bit more about this chip design. You can see that right there, there's an extra diode on the chip. And that is said to help with eliminating any dark spots in the light output. We're going to find out. So here's my initial observations of this one. As you can see, it's a very small and compact light. In fact, compared to the OEM H11, it's not that much bigger. The other thing you might notice is the thin core right there that holds the emitters. It's extremely thin by comparison to a lot of other ones that I've tested. In fact, this might have the thinnest I have tested so far. In fact, if I compare it to a US dime, it's actually a little thinner than that. It has a good quality finish. I believe it's anodized, beautiful red. And the cord is on the shorter side, but that's okay. It doesn't really need to be very long because as you can see, there is no driver. It has an internal driver to account for. The cord does have a braided cover for abrasion resistance, and I always like to see that. So what more can be said about this? This is a neat little uniquely designed light in a very compact package. So I think it's time to get to the light output and pattern tests. Here's how I do my LED headlight testing. For projector testing, I made a test rig using a 2017 Toyota Camry H11 headlight projector. And for reflector testing, I use an H11 headlight from a 2018 Ford F-150. I use these specifically because they are among the best-selling vehicles in America for over 20 years and are the most common on the road. I'll power the lights using a benchtop power supply, and I'll position the light's hot spot onto a lux meter that is 20 feet away, mounted on my garage door. I'll record the initial brightness and then again after 27 minutes to document how well the light manages heat. I use 27 minutes because that's the average commute time in the United States. My tests aren't for lux number accuracy, but for comparison to a stock H11 halogen bulb, which measures 725 projected lux and 910 reflected lux using my test method. Different tests in different environments will give you different results. So if you want to do the same tests of your own, I list all of the equipment I use in the description of this video. It's important that you check the description of this video for an important note on aiming your headlights, how to ensure you've picked the right headlight for your application, and the legality of replacing halogen headlight bulbs with LEDs. And before I get to my testing, I'd like to mention that if you found this video helpful or valuable, please visit my Patreon page, and you can learn how you can support this channel and help me make more videos for it. Now, let's see how the Basla B1 did. My projector test of the Basla B1 measures a surprising 1001 lux. That's 276 lux over the halogen H11, 725 lux measurement. After 27 minutes, the average commute time in the United States, it retains a surprising average for its design of 83%, putting out 832 lux, 107 over OEM halogen. For a tiny little light with an internal driver, this doesn't do bad at all. Now let's compare the overall light pattern to stock. 
And I find this one interesting because the top cutoff is decently sharp. There is a bit of a fuzzy area right here. And the usual weak spot right here isn't quite as prominent as other lights I've tested so far that are this bright. And it might be due to that thin board design and that extra diode that I mentioned earlier. However, you do see that the hot spot is a bit low, which pushed the cutoff higher in my test area. Now let's see how it performed in a reflector housing. At 1870 lux, it is still brighter than stock by 960 over the stock halogen 910 lux measurement. After 27 minutes, it still throws 1554 lux down the road, 644 lux over stock. It's not bad, but you might want a bit more power for super dark area reflector driving. Now let's compare it all to the stock pattern. I'm surprised this didn't do better in the reflector. I tested it twice and you'll notice some scattering here and here and a little bit here. Now this may be unique to my reflector housing, so if you get it for your reflector headlight, double check and see if you don't have the same issue. As I mentioned, there's a published rating of 30 watts per light. I observed 23.6 watts. For heat management, after 27 minutes, my laser thermometer recorded a very cool, cooler than average 117 degrees Fahrenheit, which is remarkable since the driver is internal, which usually makes this design run hotter. I'd also like to mention that the fan is extremely quiet. I actually had to double check that it was even running. For a tiny little light, I think this did pretty well. The cost is reasonable for the quality. The light output is surprising, especially in a projector. I still feel that I'd recommend this for a projector over reflector usage, but your mileage may vary based on your conditions. Links to where you can buy the Basel B1 are in the description. And I also offer a spreadsheet with all of the specifications and my test results for all of my light tests to date, so you can compare this with the others. That's in the video description as well. Once again, I've got a Patreon page. If you found this video helpful, if you like it, please check the page out so you can support this channel. Help me make more videos. And if that's not something you want to do now, at least subscribe, hit the bell, let me know you want to see more. I've got more coming just like this one, at least once released each week. And of course, if you have a suggestion on what I should test in the future, please leave a comment. I'll check into it. As always, thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you find the right lighting upgrades for your needs so you can enjoy your car more. Keep your headlights aimed and drive safely, responsibly, and respectfully.